Ta-da! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the studio, Butterfly Square Garden, a place where you're free to be yourself. As you can see, we are drawing <clears throat> on the right side of the brain. We're drawing classic human anatomy, and we are drawing self-portraits. That's basically what we do here. We've got a nice little array of supplies. We're all ready. Anyone can draw of any age, um, you know, beginner, advanced. There's always some basics that are important. So that's basically what we do. Um, in order to get good self-portraits, we draw the anatomy and we learn how to draw uh, some, uh, some basic skills and um, some theory, I guess, behind it. Interesting. If you want to skip straight to the actual drawing part, you can just click the link below. And then while you're at it, we've got other buttons that you can click on. I can never get the right angle. There it is. Um, click on that. And that image, maybe, we'll come back to later. It might look like a face or a vase, depending on what kind of person you are. So we'll get to that in a second. How are you today? It's been a little crazy couple of months, huh, everybody? But uh, drawing is a good way to ground yourself, to relax, to uh, unplug. If you feel like drawing is an interesting subject, then let's get a little deeper into it because According to this book by Betty Edwards, um, A Course in Enhancing Creativity and Artistic Confidence, which is true, it really does work. Um, <clears throat> drawing on the right side of the brain, that's the concept that really uh, it talks about how we've got a left brain and a right brain, and one is linguistic and one is visual, and we want to do the visual one, but the problem is that the linguistic one is the one that wants to to do the job. Um, why is it so dark on the table? It's usually much brighter. Isn't that just the weirdest thing? Excuse me. Oh, I just made it worse. Oop. Mm -mm. This is literally um, my life, everybody. Whatever. I'm sorry. That's just... Uh, what the hell's the freaking point of having that light on? Oh well, I'm getting a new light. I'm spending money just because I have it. Why not? So, um, be on the right side of the brain, which we'll talk about in a second, and use these five basic skills. Um, let me go through it. Edges, spaces, relationships, lights and shadows, and then the gestalt, which is the first four put together. That's our class, everybody. Um, three minutes. Jeez, we're slow today. So let's kind of pick up the pace and do one of the exercises that we always start with, the face vase. Except we're going to see if we can pick up the pace and do it a little faster today. Do, 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 do. So the exercise is to draw the first side silently and then the second side describing what it is you're drawing and I'll I'll describe it but tr see if you can do it along you like use chin lips nose starting from you can time me now and then on the other side we do the chin Lips, nose, forehead. Um, that's kind of it. I always fuck up that part. So let's, for the next video, we're going to do that one a little better. I definitely did sharper angles, um, and I was rushing. I usually take about 30 seconds, but that one felt semi-faster. Um, let's just do a little bit of a color in. Um, for some definition and it's fun to add to the collection because we're eventually probably going to cover an entire wall just of these alone do 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 so um, yeah 
I like to start my class doing that exercise just to, to see where we are mentally. Um, the problem is I'm starting to memorize it. Uh, and that's not good because you're supposed to be um, <laughs> actually looking at the picture, which I was. I just had to keep reminding myself to look at the picture. Anyways, uh, yeah, the linguistic part, it's in a conflict with the visual part. So you need to learn how to relax the one side. So do that exercise a couple times. The book says use five minutes, but I can do it in about, I don't know, 15 seconds now. Um, I did lose quality, but uh, I definitely gained speed. So now we're just trying to do them both. Eventually I'll do it with my eyes closed. So today is the 17th. JSJ. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, great. Moving on. <clears throat> um, I always mention that uh, another great exercise in this book is pure contour drawing, but I'm not going to even go there. Um, you look at the wrinkles in your hand, boop, boop, doo, doo, but you also draw on your paper and you set the timer for five minutes and you do that. And then after about a. 30 seconds, the left brain will give the task up to the right brain. So that's how you draw. The first step is seeing edges, and um, even before that, you have to be in the right frame of mind. Easy, right? This book talks about upside down drawing, negative space, uh, using a grid system, using a viewfinder. Uh, I mean, get the book, check it out, really good. Drawing on the right side of the brain. Boom! Done. Moving on. For the last couple of days, we've been focusing on the skull because in order to draw our own face, your own face, each other's own faces, it's important to know the anatomy because no matter how much you practice, you won't get, you'll, you will plateau and you just, you won't get any better unless you have some fine arts training. So that's what we're doing. Excuse me while I sip my drink over here. Isn't that a nice color with my shirt? <laughs> Tomato juice, yum. Okay, sorry. Um, art professors have mustaches. New paper. <laughs> that was pretty good. Not bad. Do 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 do. And then I'll show you the other work that we did during our critique. Maybe I'll just get. Let's just take out all the paper. Use all the paper. I've got colored pencils just drawn out all over my desk, and that's not what you're supposed to be doing, y'all. Actually, is this? Yeah, they're both Amazon. Can you even tell the difference? One is yellow, and one is lemon yellow. And honestly, I like lemon yellow better. There's actually a whole bunch of different colors. I love color theory. It's fun. So yeah, uh, we always talk about... <clears throat> It's important but back then, and it's important now. That's what it says over here. <laughs> this is just such a good book. Look at this. That was um, Dissecting Cadavers during the Renaissance. Whose was that? The Royal Collection, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, really? Interesting. Yeah, kings and queens used to pay artists just to do whatever the fuck. Yeah... They would dissect cadavers with scientists and doctors. That's what our drawing will look like. I've gone through this book so many times. Yesterday we learned that lateral is out from the, the medial line. What is it? Yeah, medial line. And we learned that. Cool. Lateral is out from the medial line. So let's just skip ahead. Eventually, we will draw the whole skeleton from front and back and side and all of the muscles and name them all. Ooh, gluteus maximus. Whose favorite is that? Yeah. You draw the bone and then the muscles just go right on top. So it's such an easy process. Ooh, we learned what this is. All right. Sorry. Getting a little distracted. I'm just having so much fun. So... So far, we've done, and I'll show you this later, frontalis, which is here, proceris, which is here. I forget what these are, like corrugated 
Turbiculi or something. It's a crazy name. Um, the mass Massiter is down here in the jaw. And then the Temporalis was this over here. So that's what we've got so far. Yeah, Temporalis. That's what we've got so far. So um, let's see where we're going to go with the next muscles. And then we will draw... Oh, I remember. I think it was going to be the, like ocular muscles yeah anyways sorry we drew that messature drew that temporalis frontalis proceris see I, I did that I said that all out loud before even looking forward in the book because we are learning so I hope you are too do 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 oh fun orbicularis oculi muscle this is gonna be so helpful because I'm gonna be able to draw my eyes now and then we already have the Perseris, but that's going to be from a three-quarter. And the next one is the Nasalis. So we're already 11 minutes into the video. I think maybe, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's see how long it takes us to draw this. Because this is a totally different image, and I don't want to maybe draw two skulls. I think we'll do this today, this tomorrow, and then... Both these will be the day after. We'll keep. We'll just keep going. We'll see how we feel. This looks like we can do all of those at the same time. These we can all do at the same time. Sorry, I'm just looking forwards because we're all. I pretty much learn all of this on camera with you guys, even though it's mostly for myself. So then it goes down to the neck, and we know that this is the cervical vertebra of the neck. We just went through all of the face and the neck. Um, it shows you the way that they, they go with different angles. And then that's it. It shows you the dimensions of the, the head. Um, and then after that, it even gives you more, even more proportions. So, interesting. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> By the time we finish this chapter, look at this. It gets really detailed. It's totally possible. Like, I think we'll be able to draw pretty pretty much exactly that and then it moves into the torso but uh, I'll ask you guys if we should do hands or torso next but torso might be more fun boop boop doo -doo. I have my torso but my hands I think I'm gonna skip to the hands and then do torso yeah okay so blah 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 let's jump right into it and hopefully we'll get done before 30 minutes I think We'll probably do this really fast. So I want to draw the whole skull. So I'm going to flip back and forth. Look, we're going to eventually draw this whole thing and name them all without looking at those. Yep, fun, fun. One more page. Here we go. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. So... If you are one of those people who skipped in the video, you're going to jump in right. <laughs> How do we want to do this? I'm dropping shit. Oh, my God. I'm going to make myself a little smaller. I don't edit my videos. People need to see the way this works. <laughs> do, do, do. Eventually, I'm just going to stream the whole class, but I need to be probably, I think once I'm finished with the first chapter, well, technically the second chapter, that's when I'm going to start streaming like every single class and we can probably have like a set time so that more of you guys know when to come in. Yeah, because it's really important. We want to build a community where we're like actually communicating with each other and working together okay so skip forwards to here at what time 1425 go now I'm gonna start with the same thing that I always start with which is a nice big rainbow arch and I'm getting better at making it a smooth rounded shape that isn't lopsided because um, that would lead to brain damage everybody mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe I mean it depends brain 
differentiation, it would just be different, but we want to go for conformity right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can start with a circle if you want. That might make it easier for proportions later. Maybe I'll start with a circle. Let's start with a circle today, everybody. <laughs> and then um, it goes down. These are the zygomatic bones, so how do I want to do this? Frontal bone is here. And then the superior temporal line is on the sides. So let's just really, really lightly put in some guidelines. Underneath, well, between the superior temporal line and underneath the frontal bone is the superciliary arch, which is also known as the brow line. I'm just going to quickly put in a little thing. And then um, in between the brow line is the glabella, glabella sorry, glabella. Um, I guess I'm working top down, but usually I, I would want my drawing to go about down to there. So I'm going to mark it. We'll see how, how it goes, though. <clears throat> so that would make these about the orbital. Um, oh, goodness. What did I do? Do, 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 do. That's the zygomatic bone here. Do, 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 I'm just, um, putting horizontal lines. Maybe I'll divide it up and down, too, as well. A lot of drawing is measuring back and forth. And when, if I were to have a person in front of me, I would be using my pencil probably to measure. But <clears throat> we'll un let's not really worry about that right this second. But what I was going to say is that stuff all becomes very second nature. I hated measuring at first. But again, like it just becomes very second nature. I'm looking at my tomato juice. I want to drink it. So, um, if this is the zygomatic bone, which I put over here, it comes out a little bit. And I'm going to exaggerate that just for the sake of learning. I'm going to take that out. <laughs> and then it goes up and do, 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 do. I may have messed it up a little bit, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> yeah, because the orbitals would be... I think, what did I do? I totally fucked up over here. I might have to completely start over. Um, goodness. Boo do 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 do. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna start over, but I'm just gonna work over what I did because I don't know something happened where it all got effed up. Um. Oh, I put the horizontal lines like way wrong. That's what happened. I put the zygomatic bone like where the temporal line should be, and it just totally threw me <laughs> off. Do 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 do. Well, sometimes you need to mess up a little bit, and that's okay. I'm glad I didn't start over. Hmm 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 Because that would have been boring. No, I'm kidding. Like you can always just start over. La 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 la. So um. It's really much better to try to put in as much information as you can before you start committing to all of these dark lines like you can see me doing right now. <laughs> the better I make my skull, the easier it'll be to draw in the ocularis muscle. So I really want to kind of just get it all straight. So that would make the glabella here. And that would make the nasal, nason, nasal cavity, the whole hubbubaloo would be about here. I'm trying to speed up a little bit because... Um, 
I mean, I'm always telling you guys to slow down, so maybe I won't go cray cray just yet. <laughs> it looks like the maxilla comes a little in from almost halfway from the orbital. <laughs> It's it's coming along. Usually a drawing doesn't really look like the drawing until it's like practically finished. So just be patient. <laughs> oh goodness, this is supposed to go like way further in. Give that a little shadow. Something's going on. I can never quite get, I mean, obviously I can never quite get everything perfect, but maybe there's a, um, I don't know, what am I trying to say? <laughs> drawing my skull and drawing my skull and I'm drawing, drawing, drawing and I'm drawing my skull. I can clearly see this is out of place. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, I mean, they can't all be perfect. Maybe I'm just a little tired because I got the vaccine shot yesterday and I'm super exhausted today. What do you guys think about that? <clears throat> Have any of you gotten your vac shot yet? Because it is actually important for as many people to get vaccinated um, as soon as possible so that we can eliminate the chance of the virus spreading out of control and causing variants to spread and then all of the efforts will be kind of pointless because we'll have new viruses to worry about. Do 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 check out this happy guy smiling at me. Na 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 Okay, so not the worst. I think I'm going really fast today because we're at like twenty minutes right now. No, 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 I'm usually at like 45 minutes by now. <laughs> Let's give a little shadow. Well, this is definitely more than a little shadow. <laughs> yeah, I can clearly see this whole thing being off. Oh, well. I think I'm just super out of it today, guys. Should I start a new video? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to try to fix it, though. I think I'm just moving stuff around into the wrong spots. Am I being too hard on myself? <laughs> If I am, just let me know in the comments. If it really is a pile of poop, let me know in the comments. Just talk to me. <laughs> just kidding. No, there's always parts that come out good, and there's always parts that you would want to improve. So those are the parts that you just improve in the next drawing. Um, it's just important to be consistent so that those actually carry over. Otherwise, uh, you might go backwards and have to do it all again. No, this is coming along. It's not like the worst skull I've ever seen. I always make this side too small. I do 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 let's draw the teeth so one two three four 
five, six, seven. I'm starting to memorize it, which is bad because um, I'm not even really looking at the picture anymore. Yeah, that's when people start messing up. They think they know. <coughs> it's not the worst. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, crap. I broke a lead tip. Someone's texting me, and then it's just got like five, 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 six, 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 seven, 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 seven. There we go. Um, <laughs> good enough for me. Ooh, I colored that in when I should have had that be a highlight. Do, 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 do. Whoever's texting me is going to have to wait because I'm drawing a class. Welcome to the studio, everybody. Um, the name of the channel is called Butterfly Square Garden, but I feel like the studio should have a different name. Um, although, I think eventually I'm going to have to split the channels because this is clearly a drawing channel. Um, but it started out as a butterfly channel. <laughs> There's this balance between making a messy drawing and a fast drawing. And I want to combine that to have a fast drawing that looks professional. Okay, now I'm just going to draw in um, the squiggles. I don't know what they're called. Do, 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 do. Temporo mandibular joint. I just love saying that. This whole thing should be dark. And put that back where it was because I took it out. Um, I heard someone talking about how drawing is just you add a little and you take a little away and you add a little and you take it away and you can just keep doing that um, until you feel like you're done and I like that because it's true but it's also not I mean it is my style but I want to minimize the amount of taking away like I would rather just add stuff in even even the white spots, I would rather just add in a highlight instead of drawing all the dark around it. Uh huh. So just oh, this is supposed to go like all the way up to here. Jeez, jeez, oh my goodness. Okay, guess that's where we messed up. No, I mean just just there. I think that's good enough. It's about halfway. That's not the best part of the skull anyway. This time. <clears throat> I feel like I keep trying to go darker and darker and every time I look up it's just like light again <laughs> these are the mental mental protuberance and mental tubercle right here I don't know why it's mental though uh, it'll probably tell me if I read it in the book though so that pretty much sums up our skull like we can divide up the zygomatic. Wow, I really put it like a. My God, the zygomatic bone is really big on this skull, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect every single freaking time. <laughs> well, it kind of does. <laughs> that's the point. I want it to be really on point, like every time. So that's why we're doing all this practice goodness I got a shade excuse me while I just really quickly shade in the teeth before I move on because it's kind of important do 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 um what's
what's your favorite Pokemon? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite vegetable? Tell me about a funny story that you had. What got you into art? Was it your parents? Was it you? Was it a friend? Was it a cartoon? An anime? I think that's a good that's that's a skull. It's it's a messy skull, but we're 30 minutes in and let's move on. I don't want to have an hour and a half class today, basically. I just want to have a normal hour class, but we'll see how far we get. <laughs> that's the muscle that we're drawing. How exciting, everybody. All right. Let's get this on screen. So we want to put this ocularis oculi muscle on top of our drawing and hopefully hopefully it'll match up <laughs> oh goodness um, I really should have worried about drawing that much lighter <sighs> oh well so we'll just do our best right next to the na nasal bone um, it comes down, I see, okay, basically it goes from, let's even read the book, Ocularis Oculi, it says, um, the origin is the medial palpebra ligament, which is here, and then the insertion is below the medial palpebral ligament, so basically it just goes around, and this is dupe Depressor super silly. Okay. And we learned about the super silly in the last one. So basically it attaches here, goes around like that. Hmm. Oh, and the second part says palpable eyelid portion. And the same thing. It goes from here to there. So which one should I do first? Uh, oh goodness, this is kind of... Goes to the zygomatic bone over here. We're going to just... I shouldn't have worried so hard about drawing the skull because I'm just going to erase it all. But that's kind of part of the fun of the video. Um, because I will upload the finished prod product but it won't represent everything that we did in the video because we will have covered up and erased stuff. Do 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 and that goes down to about here and then up again like that. So let's copy that on the other side almost exactly. The right brain is really good at uh mirror imaging and just basic visual stuff. It just makes stuff so easy if you're in the right mindset. <laughs> and then it goes around like this. In the future, we'll be able to sketch out the skull like ghostly. Maybe I'll use a... Oh, that's what I should do. I'll do it like the Disney people where they draw it in like a light blue and then go over it with some other color. Um, I went up too high. I want to touch this guy. So those are our ocularis oculi muscles. Let's, let's erase. And I, I need to find my other eraser. It's in the other room. But basically we have to erase all of this. And... Say goodbye. <laughs> Aren't you glad you watched me worry about drawing that the whole time just so I can erase all of it? But what's the matter? That's what it is. We're just drawing because it feels good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm most interested in like a year from now for when I've been doing this for like a full year. Uh, do, 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 I haven't been doing it every day, but we're doing it almost every day. And for the last couple of days, we have been doing it every day. So, 
So that's good. All right, so it goes like here to here and to here and to here and then it wraps around and this kind of goes like this. That looks weird. The other muscles were so easy. <laughs> This one's just weird. I do 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 I am going to end up going over this in pen because it's just like not enough. Do I want to do pen or pencil though? What do you guys think? I'm going to do pencil. I don't want to do pen yet. So I actually see the eye in the picture. So I'm like, why don't I just draw it in? It's right there. And it's not like I'm drawing my own eye. So it should be <laughs> really easy to draw putting in some of these extra lines. Not some, there's like a lot of extra lines. I'm drawing them all. There's a little shadow. Even though the eye is like totally white, you still have to draw in the shadows, which is, is it frustrating? Maybe not, but it kind of is. <laughs> Over here, we have the same thing. We've got this with a little highlight, and if this was toned paper, I would put in the highlight with a white pencil, but I don't have toned paper just yet. That basically looks like pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm kind of really happy with this. Um, the muscles come out even further over here. So I'm going to take them out more. Let's draw in a little definition on these eyelids, but be clean about it because it's a fine line. <laughs> yeah, this would be easier with a different colored pencil, but oh well. La, la, I mean, let's we'll put in the, let's put in the colored pencil like right now. Finishing this up, so we're gonna do. <laughs> that actually goes way higher. La 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 la. So what do you think? That is a skull. Oh goodness, how did I miss that? That's what was driving me crazy. Do 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 the zygomatic bone like comes in further. And this should all be darker. Ugh. I broke my lead again. Um if I'm talking too fast, just let me know, I'll slow down. So I need to learn that just because I want a darker line doesn't mean I can just throw in an ugly line, which is what I've been doing. Um, I'm just trying to darken it up because it's really hard to see on camera unless you have like a really solid line. Um, and that's another thing that I've learned about drawing is you just a lot of the time the difference between a drawing that communicates depth well or not is is a really hard dark shadow and you got to be bold for that but if you put it in the wrong spot you know throw it in the garbage <laughs> okay uh, that's a skull. 
Next is the nose stuff. Right? Yeah. But we don't have the nose. And I don't feel like erasing all of that, you know. We could probably do that if we wanted, but we'll save it for future. Because we're already 40 minutes in. So let's color this in real quick with a real light... Um, I'm not even going to sharpen it because I just want to color it in a little bit. <laughs> oh goodness, I will maybe have to use... What do I want? What do I want to do here? Um, <laughs> let's color it in. Darken up the line and then be done, I think is what I want to do. <laughs> That's it. I'm using my 2B. 2B. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not looking at the reference anymore because I'm just trying to darken up a couple of these lines. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's. That's art for ya. Do 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 do. I also learned, I think, in high school, LaGuardia, um, the art teacher saying that. Hold on. What? What's up? Yes. Why? What do you need? Hold on. I'll be right back. of you live with your parents that are very involved in your life uh, I, I was living on my own I was out of the house for 10 years and um, it was time to come back and help out around the house I mean I feel like that's an adult thing to do when your parents are getting older is to like help them out especially in um what's it called like where people come from somewhere else um like immigrant families like we're essentially an immigrant family so i mean i know a lot of y'all will understand what it means um boo, 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 boo. we're gonna fix the door in fact we're fixing a lot of the shit around here it's like never ending so yeah that's really good uh i kind of want the depressor super silly to be orange though and like we said the eyelids are pulled down how's that work if it's pulled it would pull this way i don't know how that works anyways blinking isn't that interesting um oh okay so this is orbital portion and then there's also an eyelid portion so it's like there are same muscles in the ocularis oculi muscle it's all the same thing with the around the eyelid and the actual eyelid but it's different from this depressor super silly which is what i made yellow orange so I'm going to define the eyes just a little more and then that's I'm going to call it quits on the anatomy class and then we'll move on to the figure drawing my favorite part just imagine like I just got my vaccine if y'all guys have your vaccine we can have a class in person where we're figure drawing each other and it's just going to be so much fun oh goodness I missed a line over here too but yeah, that pretty much wraps up. Um, except we got to write it down. So, uh, orbicularis oculi muscle and um 
depress or super silly. What was the other super silly? Corrugator super silly. And that's different from the depressor super silly. What the heck? What does that even mean? I guess we'll learn it all eventually. Uh, so yeah, this is actually all supposed to be dark. So let's just go cray and make it dark. That helped, but I need to do that. <laughs> so did you guys enjoy drawing our skull portion of the class today? I want to make the back yellow. Oh my god, he's got a pointy head on this side. Oh well. Coloring, coloring, how I love my coloring. Um, I think that was Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls singing about coloring with her crayons. Bubbles was one of my favorite characters growing up because I was super gay. <laughs> and she was so cute. <laughs> and in one episode, um, her hair got turned into a chicken wing. <laughs> I just thought that was like the funniest. Th it was like a drumstick, like turkey leg. Oh, God. Cartoons are just so fucking funny. Um, my favorite cartoons right now, I love uh, Steven Universe from start to finish. Like, that is a growth. You grow with that kid. Um, I also love Clarence. Oh my god, that show. Goodness. Um, Jeff is like one of my favorite characters of all time. Do, 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 do. Got any animes you like? I mean, Naruto is a great one. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think? This is the book, and this is what we did. Does it look the same? Uh, does it look better? Does it look worse? Did we waste our time? We did more than what's in the book. It's just, you know, it's it's just removing the mystery. Because if we if we know every single piece, I feel like there's nothing to jump out and scare us. So, let me just make that a little darker, and 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 that a little darker. It just needed a little oomph. Yeah, if you've been drawing for long enough, you start to just see things that it needs. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, thank you, everybody. I think I'm satisfied. We wrote our date and our name. And putting it away. But we'll check on that again in a little bit. But it's, oh, goodness, we got done 10 minutes earlier than usual, everybody. We're usually at an hour by now, um, which is supposed to be the end of class. And we're just getting into the figure drawing now. My favorite part. I get to disrobe. Isn't this a nice color? Um, it's Calvin Klein and I found it in the closet. It's probably my brother's. So. <laughs> Let me just take this off. Oh, I'm struggling. Um, someone help me disrobe. Will you help me take my, my shirt off, please? Ugh, good. That's a nice shirt and I just kind of threw it over there. Sorry if you don't like that. Men have to worry about drinking with mustaches in the same way um, that women have to worry about drinking with lipstick unless you're a person with a mustache and who wears lipstick like me sometimes. <laughs> okay, so since we're early today and... Um, we just did all of that work to prepare for this one moment. I'm going to do two gesture drawings and then one full on portrait. That's pretty much what we always end up doing. So for a good gesture drawing, I mean, try to only spend like 30 seconds getting exactly what basic information you think needs to be put down. Do 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 
do do do and then I see a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Bah, 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 bah. Like you're not trying to get a work of art. Um, bah, 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 bah. See, I start going for details like way too early, but it's a gesture. I'm already finished with the drawing, so it doesn't matter if I start changing it. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. You can't even see what I did. Uh, let's go, where do we want to go? That's going to be my big one, so I'll do another small one really quickly. <laughs> Got a circle, do, 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 frontal bone, ocular muscle, nose muscle, happy lips with my hair on the side, my hair on the side. It's actually really swoopy today. I'm I'm excited to draw it. I'm gonna finish this up real quick. <laughs> and put in some eyes. This is gonna be good for when I'm like working the restaurant and I'm I'm only gonna do like a, a two minute portrait. Okay. <coughs> But um, this is what we've worked all that exercises for. We're gonna draw ourselves um, in in maybe HB. I don't know if this is a good idea. I just did those exercises with 2B. So I've got a circle. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit to make more of an egg shape. Become familiar with the dimensions of your head. Are you rounder? Are you square? Man, I have a really great swoop in my hair over here. I'm excited to draw that. Dividing it in, in half, and then maybe over here I'll divide it in half, because that's basically where your eyes should be. So let's see. Frontal bone. Superior temporal line is over here, and then I see another superior temporal line here that would make this whole thing temporalis do 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 superciliary arch is the brow line which is here glabella root of nose we didn't really learn anything beyond that hmm <laughs> Um, okay, I mean, we learned that this would be the frontalis from the brow line, which we just drew, to the hairline, which we just learned would be the, this is the hairline, which we can match up with our muscles. That's nice. Um, the muscle told me where to put my hairline. And since this is the brow line, then I should be able to put my eyebrow on it. Same thing with this side, but not go too cray. It's weird because um, it's going past my temple line. Do, 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 do. So if that's that, then this would mean that this is the ocularis. Uh, we just drew that whole ocularis. Um, including the eyelids. Oh goodness, um, it's starting to get a little messed up. Is it? Let's just keep going. And then my nose would be like this thing right here. Oh, that's what's going on. This eye is supposed to be out further, and so is the nose. That's better. Not perf, but it's better. <laughs> um, this whole thing should kind of be more shadowy. Oh, yeah, that had to that had to be brought in as well. So if this is my nose, 
Yeah, I'm so excited to get a little bit further in the book because now that we're putting in the muscles, it's like actually teaching us um, all of the components of the face, which I have drawn. Um, maybe I'll show you guys in the sketchbook once I'm done with this drawing because um, I'm like, I'm really excited uh, to be able to draw all of these things, everybody. <laughs> There's some hairs over here. So my nose basically is the bottom of the mustache. What am I trying to do here? The nose is running away from me, everybody. <laughs> so I heard some of you people say that you had practiced drawing skulls, and I was so excited. Um, to hear that and yeah anytime anyone says anything like that has any kind of feedback it's just like the best so keep it up um, you know you don't have to watch the whole video but uh, if you're an artist <coughs> who who believes that you know we can have a community if everyone contributes then um, that would be really fun. I do, 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 do. I'm not focusing on my whole head like I should be, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm surprising myself with how much I like this one spot that I'm doing. But I really should be moving on. Um, I noticed while we were drawing the skull today that it was really important to get some clear lines like in some important spots and that's kind of carrying over um, into my drawing right now. <laughs> this whole thing. Oh, whoa. This whole thing should be different oh no I ruined it I ruined everything <laughs> yeah I think I thought we had it for a second but I kind of lost it anyways let's just keep going do 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 yeah we totally lost it it's like I'm drawing well and then I start fucking it up for like what I think it should be and that's really when you mess up everybody. And I keep moving. I need a model that doesn't move as much as I do. So this would be the zygomatic bone. That would be the zygomatic arch. This would be the other side of the orbital. Oh, man. Maybe I should have spent a little more time. Because I can clearly see that this is the mandible. <laughs> If I had stuck with the anatomy for like a little bit longer, um, I think it would have really helped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got the talkie ball, which goes basically like here, goes back there, and I've got my hair going on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, do, do, do. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, this is supposed to be dark, dark, dark. I've got really confusing light perspective because I've got a, w a window here and then I've got a light up here and then there's a light behind the table computer and then there's another light here lighting up the desk and then there's more lights up there. So, um... I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know where to put any of the lighting. Do 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 do. No, I'm kidding around. This is this is still like really. I'm I'm happy with the drawing. Um, it doesn't matter how it comes out, but um, it's interesting how even though this the the changes are small when you get better like you totally know that it's happening because all you have to do is go back in your book like 
three or four days and you'll see a difference um i'll be drawing and i'm like oh well i remember drawing that let me just put it in real quick and you don't have to really think about it at all so yeah i'm about to call it for this drawing we're almost at the end um It's not, it's not, it's still not what I want. I feel like I always say this. I want to sit down for like an hour and really draw myself um, but then I would just have like an hour long bad drawing. Uh, so... <laughs> like I don't think the length of time is gonna be helpful until you can use the entire time doing what you're supposed to like if you know how to start with a gesture and then you go into the outline and you do the edges and you break down the spaces um, and the relationships and then you put in the shadows at the end like that's a whole process and you're moving through a series of steps you're not just like looking at the drawing and being like okay well what was i gonna say you know you're not just like drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing and not knowing what you're doing like you you have a destination um <laughs> okay i'm i'm like done i don't want to do this anymore it's over an hour, so thanks for coming to class, everybody. We had a great studio time. Um, let's do a critique really quick, which I'm fine with doing. I don't really, just want, I just don't want to draw anymore. I'm done. Usually, you just get to a point. Do, 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 do. Oh, we were supposed to do expectations, too. I want to start class with expectations, and I think I'm going to start out by saying, like, clean up your supplies that's gonna be number one <laughs> clean up your supplies expectations yeah and I'm gonna put that as number one because the first thing I do is when you take out your pencil then you have to know that you clean it up so I always put my stuff back anyways uh, what could I say about this drawing? I mean, it's a drawing. I say that every time. Um, I wasn't doing this in order to get a good drawing. I was doing this to practice drawing portraits, um, while I'm learning the anatomy. Because it's going to take me like a year to learn the anatomy, but I should still be drawing portraits that whole time. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I can see this turning into a better drawing like in the future I can see other drawings you know starting out just like this uh, but me knowing where to take it because that's what I was gonna say before um, <laughs> well, let's let's compare to our other drawings. So today was four seventeen twenty twenty four JSJ butterfly signature, and putting this in the book with the others. So we did our portrait. Um, I can go smaller again. Oop! I just moved the wrong screen. So yeah, we did some gesture drawings and our self-portrait, and I kind of talked about how I felt about this, but just, you know, in general, it was a good drawing, and if I had slowed down, I could probably have done a gooder job, and if I had practiced more anatomy, I could have done a gooder job, but 
Um, I need another couple of weeks of practicing anatomy before I feel like I even want to spend more than 30 minutes on a drawing at all. Okay, and this came out really good. You know, um, I almost started the skull over because we put the zygomatic bone all the way up here in the middle of, like, the forehead for some reason. It was so stupid, but we kind of fixed it. And yeah, we did a little erasing. That's okay. We learned the ocularis muscle, orbicularis oculi. So I didn't even learn the muscle. Orbicularis oculi with, what is this, depressor supercilia or something? Yeah, depressor supercilia. Depressor superciliary, orbicular ocularis, orbicular ocularis. Depressor superciliary, depressor superciliary, orbicular ocularis. Three times, rule of three, and that's how you learn something. You got to repeat it, and we actually touched it a lot. So, um, did we even talk about all the parts of the bones? I, I've done that so many times, um, and we're over time, so I don't want to do that anymore. So, satisfactory. I would give this like a. A good job. This was a sucks a plus. We did it. Um, same thing with this one. We went really fast. I kind of want to go back in the video and see how long that took because um, I'm going to start timing myself. The last couple have been like exactly 30 seconds. Um, now let's just go stroll down memory lane. That was page 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. Um, this is where we started, that's what we did today, that's what we did today, that was yesterday, we did frontalis, procerus, and, um, something superciliary, I forget, um, massature, temporalis, and, which was a better, I think I'm getting a better grip I think this one's better than yesterday. I think I'm getting a better grip of it. Um, was our skull, front on skull, better than the last time we did a front on skull? Uh, it's bigger. <laughs> I would say this might be better. I don't know. They're both really good. They're like so close. I like this one a lot though. Um, and now we're just going to go back to more work that we did. So as you can see, this is just everything that we've done on camera so far. Well, not everything, just uh, the last couple of days. Uh-huh, I just like looking at my book. Um, I'll scan them all in. It's long enough where I can like actually start flipping through it though. But yeah, a lot of those skulls looked like, you know, exactly the same. We keep doing it front on. Um, and we do the side on, and then we do the front on again. This one is kind of, um, lopsided. Like, I know that there's uh, two crests there. So, going further back, you start to see little things, but, um, I've done it so many times that there's really not much to leave out anymore. You know, like, my critiques are... are that they look exactly the same. So that's a win. Just uh, to close, we're going to talk about how excited we are for the future. This is basically where I started um, in September last year. And I was like drawing people in this book. And I'm like, oh, wait a second. This is like, I can't even get beyond a gesture drawing. Um, you know, may, I got a shadow here. I got a nice butt here. This one was pretty good. But um, a lot of them, I just couldn't get past the gesture drawing at all. Even when I was doing the same picture, the same pose multiple times, I was like, they're not getting any better. So I thought maybe I could just keep going and adding more gestures, but it didn't work. So that's when I started drawing the anatomy. And we've got over here really bad drawings of the anatomy from the front, from the side. The very first time I started looking at like the zygomatic bone 
and right away I jumped into the muscles on the same page masseter, temporalis, frontalis and I didn't remember them at all so when I went over them in the video before I was like basically learning from them learning them for the first time because I didn't learn them the first time uh, <clears throat> yeah in September I was like drawing every day because I got really excited so I started going through the book um, I can draw them better now so I look back at them and I'm like I can draw them better now but I've been working on it for a long time um, so these I know I can do better but I haven't practiced these again yet so I'm excited to see what happens the next time like I spent I don't know like an hour I spent a really long time doing these um, and copying them right out of the book uh, as close as I could so these are really good eyes I mean if I can draw my own eyes in the in in my portrait and figure drawing the way that I'm drawing these then it'll look like a real professional drawing and I mean that's what we want hmm <laughs> the noses and the lips and the ears obviously they could all use work but um yeah this one uh they basically look the same the only difference is i i i know all of the words and before i was just writing them down and not memorizing them but this was really, really going slow, really taking the time to put them in the right spot. So every time we draw them, they look the same because we've like gotten to the level of drawing all of the pieces. It's like there's nothing to leave out. Just how fast can you do it? If I can run a mile, it's going to be the same mile. It's just how fast can I run, run the mile? Anyways, that's kind of how I always feel about it. Yeah, they're good. Good enough. I like looking at them. <laughs> this was my old book. And then we started going into the video because uh, I was like, I was just not satisfied with any of the work that I was doing. Um, that was an old one. Like you can see, I've drawn this a lot. Wow, that one's really good. I went slow for that one. Is it really good? Yeah, that one's really good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just the same. I can make the same judgments, like pinch nose, square forehead. It's what I was always doing. <laughs> My God, it's been like a million times. I filled up like this whole notebook. Oh my goodness. I filled it up with ugly drawings. That's like a Hey Arnold, move it football head. That one has no definition in the eyes. I gave up and went over that with marker and pen. Yeah, I was like, okay, I draw it in pencil. That sucks. Go over it in pen. Okay, that sucks. Go over it in marker. Did it make a better drawing? No. That one's good. Uh, I always like this one. <laughs> um, that's got the jaws um in the wrong. It's my old mistake of be doing it too small on one side so anyways I'm gonna finish the video because I want to spend the rest of the day cleaning my room and doing the door frame like my dad just interrupted me to do upside down drawing that was an, a really fun exercise we drew this upside down just like that but you know you got a picture of a guy sitting so lo, 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 lo. I'm gonna finish the book and then um, say goodbye I just, uh, I'm excited to see the fruits of our labors because we've been doing this for, for, for long enough that we can pretty confidently draw our skulls and that practice is carrying over into our portrait drawing. So thanks for coming to the studio. Uh, drop a comment below. We always like hearing from you. And maybe you can do a couple exercises and show us how you did, or maybe you can mm, draw whatever. I don't care. I'll I'll literally support like any kind of drawing as long as you do a little bit of drawing every single day. We're overboard. Um, 
Yeah, I usually like to chat it up at the end, but it's already so late in the day. Um, probably gonna. That's where I got the vaccine shot, like right over here. It's not bruising, but it it like hurts. So, anyways, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. And. Yeah, I don't know. Let's support each other. Let's grow as a community. It's really important to have people who can draw and be confident in their drawing. And once you can draw like a human face, I feel like everything after that is just uh, gravy. So, okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm.